Hi everyone, this is Miss Tang and today we're going to be having a look at reading scales for mass or the um, measuring the weight. So with scales, there are actually different kinds of scales that we can use and we can use different scales to measure different things like capacity. So we can measure the capacity in milliliters and liters. We can measure the length in millimeters, centimeters and meters. We can measure the weight in grams and kilograms. And we can also measure the temperature in degrees. So here are some different examples of scales. So you could have um, one in your car that measures the speed that you're going. You could have a measuring jug where it measures the liters and milliliters. You could have a weighing scale that measures in grams and kilograms. You could have a ruler that measures in millimeters and centimeters. You can have lots of different other scales as well like a thermometer that might uh, measure the, that will measure the temperature. So scales could be in a straight line like these and they can also be circular as well. So they could be round too. So this is what we're learning to do today. So we're learning to read scaled instruments so that we can measure mass the weight of something. So the criteria is, can you find zero? Can you look at the numbers? Can you identify how much the numbers go up by? And can you identify whether it is in grams or kilograms? Okay, so have a look at this. This is a weight. So it's weighing um, some rice or some flour. And you're going to have a look and see Let's have a look. So it's in a circular shape. We are going to, number one, find zero. So zero is up the top. Number two, we're going to look at the numbers and we're going to see how much it goes up by. Okay, so it goes from zero and then it goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then 100 or zero. So it goes up to zero again and the, it goes halfway as well. So half of 10 would be five. So the little um, line there means the means that it's in between. So it, go, it will go up by five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 80, 90, 95. Okay, and it is in grams. So the G, the little G represents the grams. Okay, and we can see that line there. It's already pointing to the middle of 60 and 70 grams, which means that it's 65 grams. Okay. All right, let's have a look. What is the same and different about these scales? So if you have a look, this goes up by, so the numbers are 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. And there's a little line in between, which means that it will be half of that. So 100, half of 100 is 50, so it would go up by 50. So 0, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, etc. Let's have a look at this. Ooh. This is a little bit similar. So the numbers that were given do go up by a hundred, but it oh, and it also does have the line in the middle as well. Okay, so that will be fifty grams. But there are also little lines in between. So let's just have a look at how many. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So five lines in between, and that's. 50, if that line's 50, which means that it go, it will go up by 10. So it will go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 gram, 60, 70, 80, 90, etc. Okay, so that the difference is, I mean, they're, they're very similar, but they have the little increments in the middle as well. Okay, let's have a look at this activity. So we're going to have a look at these scales and we need to try to match it up. So let's have a look at this. So this is going up by, so there's 0, 0, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1 kilogram. 
and then there are little increments in the middle as well okay so there's one there so that's half so half of 200 is 100 and then half of 100 is 50 so these little lines there are 50 so 50 100 150 200 okay so let's go all the way up to this number so we've got 800 850 900 so this would be 900 grams okay so 900 grams and that is 100 kilograms so there's 1000 grams in one kilogram but here we're looking for 900 grams now can i see 900 grams no so we've got one and a half kilograms seven kilograms let's have a look at the next page oh here we go 900 grams so a pineapple is 900 grams which means that this pineapple should go on this scale okay so you're matching up the scale with the object so i would draw that line up to here and then you're having a look at this scale here so you've got one two three look it's in kilograms so it's three kilograms so let's have a look on the right hand side and see what is three kilograms so it's not the chicken not the fish in the bowl not the pineapple oh looks like this block is three kilograms so that i would match it up to this okay so that's what you do for these two pages and then on the next page you just have to draw a line of where the needle would be pointing so spuds or potatoes um, are two kilograms so you would draw the line up to two kilograms so you'll just draw that line there just like this so do you see how they've got the line on the two kilograms so that's exactly what you do for this okay and then you're going to do the same thing with these two so you just have to draw the line in to show how much it's weighing all right give it a go